At the beginning of 2022, I made it a goal of mine to quit my nine to five job by July 1st and replace it with content creation. The only rule was that to cut back on hours at work, I had to be making enough money from content creation to make up for the smaller paychecks. Now going into the six month challenge, I couldn't help but think to myself, wow, you have so much time with hard work and consistency, everything will pay off. At the time of shooting this video, 3.10 p.m. on July 2nd, I have made exactly $1 from content creation. Needless to say, I did not achieve the goal that I set out for myself at the beginning of the year, but I wanted to share with you guys all the things that I've learned, what I've accomplished this far, and what I plan to do differently going forward. The first thing that I learned is that with any technical skill, repetition is like the best way to grow. Ready, Quinn? Go get it! When it comes to making videos, the best way to get better at doing that is literally just to make more videos. Queen, come, come here. Good boy. Not every video is gonna meet your standards. And honestly, a lot of them you're gonna think are really, really bad, but that's okay. The second thing that I learned is that self-discipline is way more important than you think. Oh, hello friend. Where did you come from? Ready? Go. But yes. Motivation can carry you for a while when you first start out. I like to call this the honeymoon phase. But once the motivation and the inspiration are gone, there are so many days when self-discipline is the sole thing that will carry you through. And boy, are those days frequent. I found that analytics are fun to watch when the numbers are high and really depressing when the numbers are low. Personally, I'm the type of person who can be really discouraged by lack of positive analytics. If I put a lot of work into a video, upload it, and it doesn't perform well, I can get pretty discouraged. On the flip side, if I have a video that performs really, really well, it honestly like puts me on cloud nine and I'm just like stoked to work on the next video. So if you can enjoy the good numbers and ignore the bad numbers, great. But if not, it may just be better to ignore the analytics when you're first starting out. And the last thing that I've learned, which is super important, is always try to get 1% better every single day or every single video that you make. Despite not reaching the goal that I set out to reach at the beginning of this year, there are a few things that I'm really, really proud of accomplishing. The first thing is since the beginning of January to about now, I've posted a video every single day with the exception of give or take 20 or 25 days. Secondly, my ability to create videos daily very efficiently has gone up a lot. And lastly, if you look back at some of the first videos I ever created and compare them to ones that I've made recently, there is a huge difference in quality and that's pretty cool. Now, going forward, there are a couple things that I'm going to be doing differently. I can't tell you how many times I've heard the importance of choosing a niche and the amount of pressure that I put on myself to figure out exactly what I wanted to be filming forever <laughs> uh, just was not helpful. So I'm gonna be doing a lot more exploring, experimenting, trying to find out exactly what I love to do. But in the meantime, I am going to become the niche. Secondly, I'm gonna to try to spend more time connecting with other creators. It's so easy for the pursuit of content creation to, to feel like such a solo act. And I'm gonna make it a point to grow a community of like-minded individuals to do this with. And lastly, I'm gonna focus more on work-life harmony. You always hear people talk about how important work-life balance is, where every single thing that you put time into needs to be its own thing and have its own time. But work-life harmony is asking the question, how can everything that I'm pursuing coexist and overlap more? If you have made it this far in the video, I just wanted to encourage you. If you're in a similar situation where you've been working on becoming a content creator for what feels like a long time and haven't reached your goal, keep going, take a deep breath, Look back and reflect on all the things that you've learned and all the things that you've accomplished. You've probably made a lot more progress than you would give yourself credit for. So be encouraged.